Hi, this is Joe, and thank you for coming back for another video. I just recently picked up a battery-powered spot welder. You use a spot welder when you're taking, for example, 18650 lithium-ion cells and making battery packs for either uh, e-scooters or e-bikes. This particular model is uh, made by Melectrix, a company in Germany, and it's based on an Arduino processor. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that is, it's a very inexpensive open source uh, microcontroller or mini computer. Uh, it has a display on it, it has a knob. Uh, it's open source so uh, you can either build one yourself or you can pick up an Arduino for very inexpensive like maybe twenty dollars and you can program it. There's uh, there's various boards that you can purchase to do things like drive motors, as in this particular case, provide spot welding capabilities. Uh, so I purchased this. It has an optional foot pedal, so you can manually uh, toggle the, the two electrodes right here. And this is uh, when you want to take pure nickel strip. Uh, I have some nickel strip here. You cut in the strips and then you put them on the... Uh, the battery and then you spot weld the nickel to the battery both the positive and the negative side the reason why you're using a spot welder because if you try to solder the nickel strips on a lithium ion battery the uh, the added heat in the soldering iron can damage or limit the life of the lithium ion battery so they recommend that you use a spot welder I've seen uh, various videos out on YouTube where people have taken a infrared temperature monitoring guns, tried to solder the nickel strips onto the battery using a soldering iron and then using a spot welder. And the amount of heat that is put into the battery is quite high uh, at the levels of even damaging uh, the life of the battery. So again, they always recommend that you use a spot welder. There, are, This kit comes uh, with options. Uh, you can purchase 3D printed plastic cases for both the fuse uh, and the actual processor. You can purchase uh, a foot pedal. The unit also has an automatic delay option where you can set like a two second delay. So the uh, the processor will determine when you touch the two probes to the battery. When it makes contact within two seconds or after two seconds it will fire the spot welding capability to spot weld the nickel strip to the battery. I purchased all of the uh, options, which is the case, the uh, fuse box cover, um, there's uh, connectors that you connect to uh, a battery and they recommend uh, a, a lead acid battery of between 4 and 600 cold cranking amps. If you go beyond that, uh, you can damage uh, what you're spot welding. So this particular battery here is a 500 cold cranking amps battery. One of the other options, and I purchased this unit for the battery so I can work on my bench top here at home. If I want to travel uh, and take this with me, they also have a LiPo option where you can wire up the spot welder using a, uh, a LiPo battery. They give you uh, a lead connector so you can connect the LiPo battery directly to the spot welder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this up to the battery. I'm going to show you the options on the uh, display, how to set it up, and then we'll do some testing to show you how to spot weld the nickel strip onto a lithium ion battery. So let's get started. The first step is to mount the controller to the battery. We have a negative terminal here on the battery. Uh, there's an aluminum heat sink on one side and uh, the other end of the aluminum heat sink on the other side. And this is for the negative terminal of the battery. So it also includes uh, the negative portion of your uh, electrode. And first of all we'll take and we'll mount this to the battery post and they provide even the hardware and the mounting lugs for the battery as part of the kit. So 
So let's go ahead and then I'll zoom in and so you can actually see it real close up. So there's the, uh, the processor and board mounted to the battery. I, here's the cap that can put on top. I won't put that on. A, uh, I'm going to leave that off so you can see what's going on. The other side is a fuse. There's a 300 amp fuse here on the red side or the positive side uh, of the probe. And this goes to the positive side of the battery. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this on. Okay, as you can see, we're now connected. Here's our two positive and negative electrodes. This is what you use to actually uh, put the current into the battery to do the spot welding. Let's get in and take a look really close at the display. Here's a close-up of the processor portion of the spot welder. Uh, the small board here with the red light uh, is the actual Arduino. There's a display, there's a rotary encoder knob right here. You can turn this and push it to set the various functions of the spot welder. For example, right now we're in auto mode. We performed uh, one weld and the status of our battery is full. So as you see, if you rotate, you can increase the weld duration in milliseconds. I've seen some other people um, recommend 17 milliseconds for a proper weld but again it all depends on what battery crank, cold cranking amps capacity you have so you'll have to dial this in when you're testing with your own unit and your own battery on the display when you push the rotary encoder you're taken to a menu option it says auto pulse battery alarm and short pulse so if we push the rotary encoder on auto pulse, it's activate, delay, or exit. So activate switches between manual mode and auto mode. The manual mode lets you use the foot pedal to manually trigger the spot welder. The auto mode will set up, you set the delay. When the probes touch the nickel strip, it starts the timer and let's say currently it's set to let's say like two seconds. Uh, once you make a continuity with the the nickel strip after two seconds elapses it will fire the spot welder. So for example if I push on activate notice it is on. So uh, if I turn the ro rotary encoder knob it will set that to off and then you notice our mode up here in the upper left hand corner is in manual. Currently we're set at six milliseconds for a weld time. So let's go ahead and push that again. The next menu option is battery alarm. What it will do is when your battery reaches a particular voltage it will, si it will send an alarm to you, uh, a verb audio alarm. So if I push that uh, when the battery reaches 11 volts, it will trigger the alarm, let you know that your battery voltage is uh, a little low. Push it again, we go to short pulse. Uh, this is a percentage of pulse time, and you can set this anywhere from 0 to 100%. So this allows you a finer control of setting your pulse times uh, for an automatic uh, type of an operation which is not using the foot pedal but waiting a delay time. Let's go back to the menu and if we go to auto pulse and we set that to on and then we go back to a delay notice a two second delay. So in the auto mode a two second delay is, is when you then touch your electrodes to the battery or the nickel strip sitting on top of the battery. At that point when continuity is detected 
it will then start count the countdown timer two seconds after two seconds the spot welder will automatically make a spot weld at that point and then it will trigger the spot welder back off so that's the auto mode I'm going to demonstrate how to use the foot pedal in manual mode because I think that gives me a little bit more control uh, I can push the foot pedal when I'm uh, ready to perform the spot weld let's go back let's go to auto activate we're going to turn that off because we're going to go through and use the uh, foot pedal battery alarm we already talked about the short pulse we already talked about so let's go back to exit and now we're set to six milliseconds okay so we're going to perform a a spot weld for you using the foot pedal and I'll show you how that works I spot welded it at six uh, milliseconds and let's try to pull the tab off and see how strong it is. Okay, it's fairly light. So what I would do at this point is dial in more milliseconds to give a longer spot weld time. And I would keep on testing that until I got a really good spot weld between the nickel strip and the battery. Let's talk about what I paid for the spot welder and all of the accessories. With the spot welder, the uh, 3D printed cases, the battery accessory to attach to a lead acid battery, and the LiPo wires and connectors for the LiPo option. I paid $165. If you're purchasing one, you don't have to purchase all of the, the added accessories. Uh, you can get by with just the unit and the foot pedal. Um, if you want, you can 3D print your own cases, uh, your own fuse holder. Uh, I decided that I would purchase everything. Now, looking out on Amazon, I looked at various... Uh, spot welders uh, from the Far East and the cheapest one out there was hundred and sixty five dollars and again being from the Far East it's really hard to tell what the quality of that would be the price goes up considerably from there I've seen spot welders uh, start at 165 and go up over four hundred dollars so I felt that the Arduino based spot welder was a good purchase Arduino usually is very robust. Uh, all of the boards that are built, again, are open source, readily available, and you can get clone Arduinos for very inexpensively. So uh, by purchasing from a German manufacturer using Arduino-based technology, I felt was a very good deal, much better than purchasing something from the Far East where I really don't know the quality and how long it would last. Uh, I'm going to post some of the information down in the description uh, so you can take a look at that. The assembly instructions were pretty easy. Uh, there was just like one solder joint where you have to solder some wires. And if you don't have a soldering iron, uh, you can even uh, bypass the soldering and just use uh, some splicing and some electrical tape or uh, heat shrink tubing. So I really like the idea of having the LiPo option for in case I want to travel and carry, uh, again, just carry uh, travel light and carry just a few things. For my workbench at home, I can use the, uh, the lead acid battery and do all my spot welding uh, at home on the bench. Uh, I really uh, like, I like the quality 
of the spot welder. I like the fact that uh, it's made by a German manufacturer. Uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, merchandise purchased from the Far East, but you do have to be careful because uh, a lot of times you don't know what that final quality is going to be or how long it's going to last. So for a comparative price, I felt I got a really good deal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions uh, on how to use a, a spot welder or battery packs, just drop me a line in, in the comments section. And we'll see you next time.